Hello, thank you for joining us for another Conscious Crafting video with Weir River Farm. My name is Christy Corson and I am the South Shore Educator at Weir River Farm in Hingham, one of 118 properties with the Trustees of Fair Reservations, the largest land conservation nonprofit in the state of Massachusetts. What we'll be making today is a robot out of a tin can um, and actually I'm going to be using all recycled materials today. Um, so I'm challenging you all at home to not make one that looks just like what I'm making, but to make one with what you have at home. Um, and then you can share your pictures to our Facebook page um, or share them with the hashtag trustees at home and we'll be able to see what you guys created. So what I'm going to be using, like I said, you're welcome to use anything. I have two tin cans. Um, when you're prepping these, make sure you have a parent um, or a guardian help you uh, take off the lid. Um, and you can also sand down or um, scour down so that you don't have any sharp edges. Um, I'm also going to be using a metal lid. Um, I have this shiny paper um, that came from um, another food packaging, um, so not didn't go out and buy this. Um, and then I also have some aluminum foil also from some food packaging, so we'll be using that. You might have some aluminum foil at home. I'll be using a, a tab from one of these tin cans. And then I also have a magnet. Um, now, I'll be using the magnet to attach things to the tin can, um, but if you don't have a spare one at home um, or one that you can kind of repurpose, so this was left over from uh, kind of a note-taking pad for the fridge, um, so that's why I'm kind of recycling it instead of throwing it away. Um, you can also just use hot glue um, to glue things on. Um, so, And we also have these um, bottle caps and then I added some of that shiny paper on the inside. So you can add kind of any paper on the inside. Um, we are using hot glue today. Um, so just like last week, just be careful. Have um, uh, adults help you if you're not um, allowed to use it by yourself. Um, that way you don't harm yourself and always be sure you know where that glue is going. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing, um, this tin can, I'm gonna just be using as my base. And then I'm gonna be gluing this can onto the top. So I've already kind of assembled these and I know that it fits better like this. If you try to fit it like this, it's a little unstable. So I'm gonna put hot glue on the bottom here so that I can connect my tin cans. So that's just to connect. So now we have a taller robot. Um, and you can just make a robot just with one tin can. You really don't have to do the two. I just already had two um, that I wanted to repurpose and use for this. And now I'm gonna, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it this kind of little top hat. Um, you could have had your can the other way around. You don't have to have a lid. Um, also think about larger plastic um, bottle caps. If you have some of those, you can add those onto the top. Um, or other kind of shapes of metal lids. So I've already picked this one out and I think that it'll look um, the best for what I'm going for. And then again, you're wanting to take hot glue, quickly doing it along the top. And then placing your top hat on. And like I said, this is just the design that I've come up with for my robot. You can make it look however you would like. So this is kind of our beginning. So we've got a nice head and then kind of two parts of the body. Um, and the next part that we're gonna be doing, we have, I'm gonna be using these for eyes and then I'm gonna be using this pull tab as kind of a mouth. Um, so you can put those on. And so I'm just gonna arrange those. This will be the front of my robot right here. So placing one eye at a time. And I've gone for two separately colored eyes for more fun. Um, and like I said, I already put some of that shiny paper on the inside of the bottle caps. Just kind of gives it you something else to focus on. And then I'm gonna space mine right next to it. Um, you could of course have, have just be a one-eyed robot, have no eyes. You can really, there's a lot of ideas online what you can make them look like and what materials you can use. So now I've got my two colored eye um, robot and next I'll be adding on the mouth. So 
So this, and this is a part to be careful, just making sure you're not actually touching that hot glue as you attach it. So there we have the face of my robot. And then the next thing that we're gonna be doing is we are gonna add on some arms and legs. Um, what I've decided is I've taken this aluminum foil and I've kind of spun it around to kind of give it a fun look. Um, and then I'm gonna be using this magnet to help stick things on. So one side is magnetic, one side's not of the magnet that I have. And then I'm gonna be gluing on the arms and legs onto the magnets. And then in that case, you can actually switch up what you have your robot kind of look like. So I'm gonna cut out some more magnets so I have enough to go around. And like I said at the beginning, if you don't have a magnet, that's perfectly fine. It's not required for this craft. Um, you're just gonna want to use more hot glue um, or other kind of strong glues to stick things together. And so now th these are gonna go along the sides as I mentioned, so that it can have arms and legs so here and on the other side. And then I'm also gonna use one to kind of give it some kind of fun hair at the top. So now I'm gonna take this aluminum foil. I've already spun it around like I was saying, and there's just one little kind of edge at the side that I'm gonna use to be the point where it glues onto. So I'm gonna face it towards me, check out how it's looking. And then now, again, being careful, you're gonna wanna put some hot glue here onto the magnet. And the reason I went ahead and put on my magnets was to make sure that I had the right side that was gluing to the magnet. You don't have to do this, but wanted to make sure that I had placed things in the right place. And now also the beauty of aluminum foil is you can kind of move those around. So right now he's kind of got arms that stick out straight. I might move those around at the end, but I'll stick the rest of these on first. So this will be my other arm. Again, hot gluing it here. So I'll move him around. I'll put this glue right here. And the tricky thing with hot glue, as many of you probably know, is just making sure that you attach things before the glue dries up. And then of course the heat. So now my robot's got two arms kind of sticking straight out. And next up, I'll do his kind of legs. So of course, they're not technically legs. You could really make, think of them as anything. Um, and so I have another piece of aluminum I've already started to twirl, um, but I'll cut it in half. And also with aluminum, what you wanna be careful of is just making sure, again, that you don't have too many sharp edges um, or really any, especially if you have kind of delicate skin, wanna make sure that you don't get um, cut as you're creating these. So you can kinda of just spiral them. They're a little bit finicky, um, but they work out pretty well. You don't have to spiral. You could just do it as kind of a straight out. Really up to you what you want your robot to look like. I'm gonna move up these magnets so he's a little higher up, then have it go down like this. Again, placing hot glue on the magnet. Then placing the aluminum. And then you can twirl it or move it around however you would like. So check this out. Yep, so he's looking fun to me. Um, so I'll just add on another leg or appendage over here. And this is my other spiraled aluminum. Um, and like I said at the beginning, this is all about using what you have at home. Um, so don't feel like you have to find these certain colored things or certain shaped things. If you don't have any tin cans, maybe use an aluminum can, um, though be careful because those can be sharp. Um, or you can kind of just wait till the next time. Maybe your family has soup or canned vegetables or um, anything that comes from a can. So I'm gonna add on this other appendage. And of course, you could add other craft supplies to this. You could add pipe cleaners, I've seen that online, um, or other general craft supplies. I just decided this week to be going with purely recycled things, um, making use of what I have while I can. So here, looking pretty fun. He's got 
um, arms and legs. Um, of course, the magnets aren't going to be super strong, just depending on what you have, but it does mean that you can kind of move things around and don't have to use as much glue, especially if you already have a magnet. It's cool that tins are magnetic. Um, and so I'm feeling pretty good about mine. Thinking I might try adding um, maybe something at the top. So I have one last magnet. So it's stuck on. Um, and then I might add some aluminum to the top. Okay. Have these pieces. Could have maybe a top hat like that. It's looking kind of fun. Or could be straight up. I think I'm going to go with having this um, aluminum up from the top. And like you may have just seen that arm did move around. So things are gonna move around. That's part of what kind of comes with um, this way of creating things. Um, and if, you, if this is your first video you're watching with us, definitely check out um, our other conscious crafting videos to try to make use of things you can find around your house or may already um, have and would otherwise get rid of. Um, and then if you have any other ideas or things you'd like to see, let us know um, and any other ways that we can help you guys during this difficult time. Um, so I'm feeling pretty fun about my tin can robot. I think he looks pretty great. Um, he, she um, looks pretty great. You could of course add more things onto your tin can robot. Yours doesn't have to look like mine does. Um, and you, because of these magnets, I can move his arms and legs around, make him look different depending on um, what I'd like to do. Um, so. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please watch more of our YouTube videos if you haven't. Um, and you can check out thetrustees.org slash at home for a lot of different resources you guys can use right now. Um, and like I said, if you have any other things that you'd like to see, let us know. Um, keep checking the We Are River Farm Facebook and Instagram pages for more updates, more programs, more Facebook Lives, um, more crafts like this. So thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for more um, things and hope everybody is staying safe and uh, keeping healthy um, during this unprecedented time. Thanks everyone.